I knew Eddie at a very young age. Uh, Eddie uh, was to me a person that uh, uh, I wanted to follow. Uh, he was riding when I first started riding. He'd already been riding and, and uh, you know, he was, uh, he had it all together and always had it all together. So I wanted to be, be like Eddie. You know, he was probably one of the first guys that I met from up here and from the get-go, he was always willing to help. Nice, you know, teach you everything that he knows, always there, you know, always there for you for whatever you needed. And uh, was a great mentor for a young rider growing up, learning how to ride and the way to do things right and how to treat people with uh, respect. Eddie's been like an icon in Chicago. If you ever had a problem, you go ask Eddie Razzo, you know what I mean? Like when I rode races, Eddie was always a person that I looked up to. You know, he's one of those riders that was just the versatile rider that could do anything in a race. I really admired him because of his professional attitude and he was an exceptional rider. When Eddie rode for me, uh, he was one of the best riders I've ever had on a horse. He won his 2000th race on my horse, on one of my horses, and it's a day I'll never forget. It just was uh, amazing the way he could ride, you know. He was just, no one could horseback like him. I mean, he was unbelievable heck of a rider, one of the best. One, one of the best riders I've, I've, ever, I've ever seen ride. He would get down like a lizard on a log and, and could outride anybody around. One of the best I've seen. He went on Springfield day, or the Springfield Stakes for me with Wiggins. That was one of the happiest times that I can remember when uh, he was the overcomer and we win the race and uh, beat the odds. Final 16th for the champ Wiggins. It is Wiggins and jockey Eusebio Razo Jr. with another Prairie State Festival Stakes win. Wiggins wins well clear. He was my best friend. I know him from the, from the start, well, the first day I started Rye. Eddie was a, a mentor in the jocks room and, and didn't even know it. That's the kind of guy he was. I always told all of my riders, if you need any help in there, go see Razo. I was always my go-to guy. He was one of the first ones to support me and teach me a lot to know about riding and stuff. Eddie Razo was a great example to the other riders, particularly the apprentices that came into the business. He took time to explain things to them, and he was very much of a gentleman. I would say he was, he was our leader in the jocks room, and he was a role model to all the young riders. And he was our mediator. He cared about everybody. He, he's really, he was a really good guy to get along and uh, teaching the young riders, you know, gave a good uh, advice on how to ride and teach it, you know, this was the best. Eddie was the first one there to, to, to talk to you, you know, to cheer you up, to say, you know what, it's, it's, uh, it's, it was just race. Uh, and just shake it off and, and move on to the next race. And, and you know, he was that kind of a person. Anyone shipped in from out of town, they, they knew who he was. The people told him, you know, that's the guy to go see. And, you know, he's, you know, everyone respected him. And we, uh, whatever he said, people listened. We had great respect for him as a writer and his talents and what he brought professionally out onto the track. But what he brought in behind the scenes was a lot of integrity, honesty, and a, quiet but very loud voice when Eddie spoke people listened yeah Eddie Eddie wasn't scared to speak his opinion or pass a comment or you know interject when he thought something might be wrong uh, he was pretty stand up when it came to that Eddie was a excellent person I mean he will get anything for you Eddie Russo was a one of the best person I ever met. Very nice guy and always like understanding, you know, to everything. Eddie and I have become friends, class act, true gentleman, you know. He's one of these guys that just sticks out. The industry is full of characters, some good, some bad. Eddie is one of them characters that was just true. Everything he did was genuine. I, anything you ever did is 100% true and anything he told you was always the truth and he never ever let you down. Eddie was the type of guy that would treat you like he was your best friend from the very first time he met you. He'd always had a smile on his face. Class act all the way through. A gentleman, uh, no one ever had a bad thing to say about Eddie Razzo. It was a real pleasure knowing and working with Eddie Razzo. He was one of the truly gentlemen of the sport, always with a smile on his face 
Never ever in the many years that we worked together did I see Eddie in a crossway. I've seen Eddie grow up all along his career and he's been my go-to rider. He's always been respected by all the horsemen and all the riders. Eddie was an excellent rider. Uh, he's a real pleasure to ride with. Uh, he knew where he was at, he knew what he could do on that racetrack, and he knew what he couldn't do on that racetrack. Uh, he wasn't the type of rider that ever put another rider into, into jeopardy, and he was always aware and always had a good, great respect for the business and the game and, and horse racing. He uh, always made sure he took care of other riders, never got in very much trouble out there on the racetrack, and uh, kept everybody safe around him. He was very well respected for that, and he'll be very much so missed. We miss him now. <laughs> we need a leader in the doctrine like you, Eddie. He's the glue that held the doctrine together when anything bad happened. Because, you know, he was, he was one of a kind. Eddie, you were always a class act. You always took the time to shake my hands if you saw me in the paddock. You always had a smile on your face. There were lots of winners for us, and you're just always a great, classy guy. He's going to be really missed because he had a very good sense of humor. It was dry, but it was funny. And anytime you're around him, he was uh, made you laugh. He would always put a smile on your face. Always had a joke to tell. Um, he just always, he, he, like I said, he always had a smile on his face, and he'd always put a smile on yours. Uh, you know, Eddie was a good joker. You know. Um, you know, well, we're both older now. Eddie was 46, and you know, we're right around the same age. And I mean, when we were back in our 20s, you know, there's a lot of practical jokes that we had played. You know, a lot of good times. Eddie, you rode a lot of great races for Dare to Dream Stable. Um, we're gonna miss you, win or lose. You were always a class act, and uh, you'll be sorely missed around here. The last horse he rode in Chicago was a horse called Scorpio Be Dancing that he won with and he was uh, very pleased about that. Matter of fact, Eddie had a good eye for a horse, told me the horse would win first time she ran, and he got it done by a nose. He was uh, competing against my brother in sportsman. It was a good battle. Eddie won the title that year. A quote he used to say all the time, ride hard for second. I say 95% every time he said that, he won the race. Our heart goes out to Eddie's family. I feel very privileged that he rode horses for us. He put 110% into everything he did, and it was a real privilege to have the, had the opportunity to know him. I wish I can still have a hair with us. It is unfortunately, you know, a big loss for racing, and uh, he will be missed. He was just a real, real stand-up guy. Gonna miss you, Eddie, gonna really miss you. He was an excellent person, excellent friend with the best uh, human quality, and I miss, personal, I miss him. He's the best, he was the best. Eddie was always in the room, was always laughing, and always joking, always kept the room, you know, upbeat and made it enjoyable. He was always an enjoyable person to be around, and you know, that's the way I, I try to be. I try to maybe, you know, keep some of that going and try to keep, you know, keep people's head picked up, because I think that's probably what he would want us to be doing most is be, you know, remembering all the wonderful ways that he was and all the, and the great way that, great person that he was and be helpful and supportive to everybody. And I think that's probably what he would want most out of any of it. And we're gonna miss him dearly. And I hate to see a great friend like that go. No conocí a Razo, pero el poco tiempo que estaba aquí he escuchado hablar muy buenas cosas de él como una gran persona como fue un gran jockey. Bueno, que Dios lo tenga la gloria y lo vamos a extrañar. He was very nice to work for. He's a true gentleman. He was a big asset to the horse racing world and he's going to be dearly missed. Toda la, la gente de, de, de todos los hipódromos lo estimaban porque siempre estaba con una sonrisa en la boca y, y muy contento siempre. And you know, it's just sad to see somebody you know that was part of that group you know, that isn't going to be there anymore. And he's definitely going to be missed. He was always a stand-up type individual and a big contributor to the sport of horse racing. He's surely going to be missed. You know, we'll miss you, Eddie. He probably taught more young riders than all of us in the jockstrom combined, because that's the kind of guy he was. And he helped everybody out, and everybody loved Razo. He had no enemies, and we all miss him.